Hi, we are getting ready for the version 5.0 release in a couple of days time and we believe this will be our last build for 5.0. So we thought we will just give you a quick overview of how we build our projects so that gives you an idea of the scale of Bizdoc 360. Well, what you're seeing here is the current project structure of Bizdoc 360. We got around 54 projects that includes everything the, the front end web application, the back end services, and then the WCO services and test projects and bunch of interfaces. So in order to build an MSI file, the first thing what we need to do is we got a separate project for the installer project. In the installer project, we got a couple of global properties. The first property is the version number. Okay, so we're going to update it to 5A2. We basically use a Julian date of the year for the version number. And the second thing we wanted to do is change the product up upgrade code so that the previous version can be updated. So in order to do that, we just simply go to a website called geodegenerator.com, uh, generate a new GUID, copy it, and then, up, and then update this product code. And another thing we need to do is we need to increase the version number on the batch file as well. So once that's done, we save it and we go to command prompt and navigate to the location where the batch file is. And then simply run that batch file. I'm not going to bore you with the screen, what's going through. It typically takes around 2.5 minutes to 2.8 minutes for the build to get ready. As you can see, there are some 98 warnings, but they are known warnings. Uh, it's nothing serious. And the build roughly took 3.3 minutes to complete and once it's completed the MSI is ready now so if I go to the the folder and under the setup folder under enterprise you can see 2a2 is just built at 10:43. so the current local time is 10:44. so this way of building a solid repeatable build give us a lot of confidence when we're giving new releases when we are releasing new either new beta releases or proper releases the the installer itself has done a lot of things while packaging the solution into an msi we obfuscate certain areas of the project where we got a lot of our logic inside so those things are taken care of by the installer the msi file is also signed by a certificate from godaddy so just just to give authenticity like it's coming from us not from somebody else so those tasks are also taken care of by the installer and as you can see, it's it's a very straightforward thing. So once we are ready, we just update the, the built number in a couple of places and put a new GUID and it's ready.